Hey YouTube, it's All Things Pretty. I figured I'd come to you with an update video and since it's been a while, I figured I'd show my face. So, hi everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. Just wanted to come and share with you um, a few things that I've received in some hauls, um, primarily online hauls, and share with you a few gifts um, that I received and uh, yeah, so I'm behind on quite a few things. So the first thing I wanted to do is share with you an item that I received from Rosa Aquino One. And we did a trade about a month or so back. It was a box, an altered box, and we included goodies in the box. And then after the, the trade, she sent me this yummy goodness. I absolutely love this Dilution stamp and this is the back of it and I haven't used it yet it's like one of those things that you want to hoard but um, I am going to use it I have something in mind now um, to create with it so just wanted to share it with you also thank you Rosa you know I love it um, the next thing that I have received uh, let's see there's so many things to catch you up on okay let's start with this this was my Valentine's Day gift and hopefully you can see that I apologize if I'm not in the frame I'm trying to figure out this uh, video filming by the um, computer I usually do it on my iPhone but this is the Fujifilm Instax mini and this is how the pictures come out and I actually used this when I had to return it because something was showing up on all of my images like two dots or something so we returned it and I received it in the mail but I just haven't opened it but just to give you an idea of what these look like here is some images and so they're just images of my family and I keep them in my little Rolodex that I made and that um, is also in one of my previous videos so I keep that in my Rolodex. I found that this is a great way to store my pictures while I'm waiting to use them. So with that being said, I have a new obsession y'all and um, I don't know, I think I say that quite often every time something new comes out, I have a new obsession. I have a new obsession. But um, a few years back, I was into scrapbooking. I think that's how my whole paper crafting thing started. But then I felt overwhelmed with the scrapbook pages, the 12 by 12 layouts. There's just so much to fill on the page. And after a while, it was more like a chore. So I stopped scrapbooking, and that's when I ventured into other areas of crafting. And so um, recently, uh, via another YouTuber by the name of Yaya Philly, Hey, Yaya. I learned about something called a daybook, um, Amy Tan daybook more specifically. So I went and I ordered one. And so this is a daybook. And it's basically, I think it's like a four and a half by eight and a half size book. And inside of the daybook are all these wonderful pages, scrapbook pages. Now, um, this book did not come with this paint on it. I sprayed it. And I'm not going to flip through all of it. Like this right here. I'm sorry if I'm moving around too much. I'm trying to figure out this video camera. But this right here is um, spritz or the sprays. I was altering some pages. And then, for example, I have this image right here. This is of my son eating his favorite meal nuggets and fries and so basically the day book is a mini version of a scrapbook and you just put your daily adventures inside this book um, this is of my daughter and our puppy Poncho is his name and so I'm still working on this page because it's still blank up here but anyway you get the gist of it this is my little soccer king and then I have some journaling under here. 
So it has really cool pages in here. This page right here I altered. I used a stencil and um, watercolors because I saw, um, I think it's OMG, it's Emily. She talked about altering her pages using watercolors and I really love that technique. So I gave it a try and I loved it. So, but yeah, so anyway, the day book has really cool pages in it for you to put everything in there, receipts, pictures, whatever it is that you want to capture from your daily life. Now this book did not come with this on here, nor did it come with this sticker on here hanging out. It just came with this clear cover with the flowers on it. And this is actually washi tape that I put on it myself. This is my new obsession, y'all. Like, I love the idea that I can scrap in, like, minutes and be done. It doesn't take me, like, three weeks to do one layout. So this right here is amazing. Um, and I have added this little envelope on the back. And inside, I just stored some pictures and receipts that I want to put in this book, but have not done it yet. Probably will do it today. So with that obsession came... Da, 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 da. And I'm not going to flip through all of these today, but these are all different variations variations or versions of Amy Tan's day book. So, you see, I do have an obsession. And then this right here, this is um, the stamp by Amy Tan. And they're little miniature stamps. I love it. So, yeah, I have quite a few of these. I think I have one more on the way. And I'm going to love these for the summer because I'll be able to quickly document my travel experience um, and my day-to-day -day experience with my children this summer and my husband. So, yeah, enough rambling. Um, what else? Oh, I got something else in the mail today, a little online haul. And this is from, let's see the frantic stamper and I'll put the link in the description bar but this is what I got I've been waiting to receive this I got this dilutions die which I love I love that checker pattern and I received where is it I received these little mini seven gypsies tickets vintage tickets and they're smaller than I thought they're like maybe two inches but I thought they were large but I can still make it work and then this is what I really wanted I wanted the lawn fawn dye say cheese and I wanted the stamp to go with it and I actually went on the lawn fawn website but they had the stamp but they didn't have the die and I didn't want to be stuck without both with one without the other so I found these on the frantic stamper.com so if you get a chance check them out um, I paid $2.95 for the tags five dollars and 49 cents for the stencil and then the stamp was $14.99 and the die was $11.99 so anyway I think that's it for my online haul. I'll be back with um, another video or two because I have a giveaway coming up. So stay tuned. Thank you all for watching.